Hello there, Ari here. Today I'll be showing you how I do my makeup for Baby Doll from Sucker Punch. I base my look on a mix of her more matte dream sequence look and her glittery finale costume makeup. I tried to stay as true to her look in the film as I could. This look is relatively easy and can be replicated with what you have on hand, so perfect for Halloween. Stay tuned at the end to see how I did her tear-stained glitter look from the concept photos. Let's start! Begin with a clean base with your regular skincare routine. Don't forget lip balm. No contacts today as my color is close enough to her hazel eyes. Prep your skin with a primer. I'm using a pore-filling one on my T-zone and then a correcting one on my cheeks. On to our base. Today I'm using a full coverage foundation for that flawless film skin. Use a damp beauty blender to blend it all out with tapping motions. I like to dampen my beauty blender with a setting spray to help my coverage last. Then go in with a high coverage concealer, a shade lighter than your skin tone. Conceal under the eyes and highlight your cheeks, chin, nose, and forehead. Blend out with your beauty blender. Set it all in place with a translucent powder to mattify and keep it all day long. Our canvas is blinked out and ready for eyes. Let's start with brows. Brush your brows into place with a spoolie, then take a light tilt brown shade on an angled brush. Her brows are very light and slightly arched towards the tail, so clean up your shape by tracing along the top and bottom, and then filling in. Set them into place with a tinted brow gel. If you have dark brows like me, use a blonde shade to lighten them. Brows on fleek, let's move to shadow. Prime your eyes with an eye primer that has coverage to get rid of any discoloration. With a tapered pencil brush, take a cool tone gray-brown color only on the very tip of the brush. Trace along your crease and create a defined line. We're going for a slight 60s mod cut crease. Go back in to create the desired darkness. With a warmer brown shade on the same pencil brush, trace again along your crease, this time with the side of the brush, blending slightly upward towards the brow bone. Keep pigment off of your blank lid, concentrated on the crease. Take a fluffier pencil brush and lightly blend upwards towards the brow bone to make the line more worn in. On a flat shadow brush, use ivory shadow to fill in the lid and sharpen the crease line. For the lid, use a light silvery brown shade with a chrome finish. Keep it under the crease line to preserve our cut crease. With a darker gray brown chrome color, pat on some definition to the outer V. Blend in with a fluffy brush. Clean up around the eye with a flat shadow brush and a matte ivory shadow. On an angled brush, take the lighter chrome shade and swipe under the lower lash line for subtle definition and shimmer. Use a small eye brush to highlight your inner corner and inner fourth of the lower lash line with a shimmery white shadow. Our shadow look is complete, it's time for liner. Use a gray or black liner pencil to tight line your upper lash line. With a black liquid liner, trace along your lash line keeping the line thin and smooth. Now onto the wing. From the bottom edge of the base liner, curve upwards towards the tail of your brow, meeting up with our cut crease. We want a swooping wedge shape for that 60s Bardot liner look. Use a makeup remover and a Q-tip to sharpen your edges. Let's pop on those iconic lashes. Give your lashes a good curl, then I used a primer to thicken up my lashes. Use a black false lash effect mascara to amp up only our top lashes. They used Ardell 111s for the film for a full on fanned out look. Apply glue and wait 15 seconds, then tack on your center and tuck in the sides. Although I didn't, they also used Red Cherry 138s to give some dimension for her finale dance look, so feel free to go all out. As a last touch, line your waterline with a rose gold pencil. 
time for those Emily Browning cheeks. Take a cool toned contour shade and a contour brush to chisel out your cheekbones. Blend out with a large fluffy brush. I also contoured my jawline and did the same to the tip of my nose, then blend out. For her rosy cheeks, use a red cream blush. Dab on some color and blend it out with your fingers, concentrating the color on the apples of your cheek up towards your ear. Use your beauty blender to soften the color if you apply too much. Lightly set with a dewy powder blush. Time for that frost-bitten glow. Apply your favorite highlighter in a C-shape over your cheekbones and temples. Also apply to your cupid's bow, tip of the nose, and bridge of your nose. Then go over your cheekbones again with a white, wet look pigment. Be sure to blend. These cheeks could slay a giant samurai. Let's do baby's pink pout. Use a natural pinky nude lip liner and overdraw your lips to fill out a plump, rounded shape. Pat on a bright pink balm or gloss, only on the center of your lips for a natural sheen. Then set everything down with a setting spray for all day wear. Your fight for survival starts now. You have all the weapons you need. Now fight! Be careful on your mission to find a map, a fire, a knife, a key, and one thing more, you. You have the power to set us all free. This look is fit for any high roller, but let's take it one step further. Back to the eyes. Take a burgundy red shadow and swipe under the lower lash line, blending down under the eye. Dab and drag remaining product on your brush downwards to create a blotchy, tear-stained texture. Mix a mauve plum shade on a flat shader brush to add bruised dimension to the lash line and create tear streaks. With a red glitter, press and dab under the lash line and smear in blotches over where we applied the red shadow. Keep layering until you achieve the desired density. Use a paper towel to fix mistakes or take away excess product. Although this look was only for concept photos with the makeup artist, I love the use of overtly glamorous products to give depth and despair to baby doll's character. Perfect for Halloween. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Comment below looks you'd like to see next. Bye!